in today's mobility training tip, continue with the theme of the morning routine and really just working on just cueing our body, basically cueing our nervous system to say, hey, let's don't fall into that forward flex position that makes our body not feel good, causes us to have stifled breath, you know, be curled up. And then when you compound that with having to sit when you commute, maybe having to sit at work, it adds up. So we want to cue our body early in the day to engage the back half, get our glutes to fire, lengthen our quadriceps or so as uh, the diaphragm and the flow to where then we can actually stand up straight with great integrity so we can have movement autonomy. So this exercise, basic bridge position, nothing crazy. Okay. We're here, flat on our back, knees stacked over feet, equal footing, think about all four corners of your foot are on the mat, hands by the side, shoulders just touch with the ground. <clears throat> think about here though, don't let your chin jut up, it's tucked back ahead on the ground. And before we even begin to bridge and really push into the ground with our feet, think about just engaging your glutes. Think about there's a quarter between your butt cheeks, okay? It's a great visual. Think about you've got that quarter and you're trying to pinch it between your butt cheeks. Okay, so now you got that in your mind. Again, the quarter between your butt cheeks. Got it? Okay. You're squeezing, you can feel yourself a little bit, see what you're working with, okay? And when you feel them start to engage for even lift the ground, lift off the ground. But notice though, some people have glute or sorry, hamstrings that'll want to predominate here. So notice when you're engaging your glutes if your hamstrings are maybe firing too much. Okay? We want glute activation. Once they're active here, then we really push into the ground. And we're squeezing, squeezing, squeezing. Here, the hamstrings for hamstring dominant people may take over. So Think about pinching that quarter, pinching that quarter, pinching that quarter, driving hips up, feel the quadriceps lengthen, drive feet flat into the ground. And think about kind of pushing those feet away. So see how that kind of lengthen me out a little bit here? So we come back down slowly. Then you can add to that to help if you uh, tend to maybe have some, maybe hamstrings, wanting to fire, wanting your um, quads <coughs> to stay tight. I like to put my feet up against here. We do the same thing. We squeeze that quarter between our butt cheeks. Chin down, shoulders relaxed, hands flat. We engage the glutes first. We pop them up and through. We're squeezing, squeezing, squeezing our glutes. And I just like feeling because it helps you to get that mind-muscle connection. We know that this is where we're trying to work. So our hands are giving us that sensory reception to feel how much engagement are we getting. Now we're pushing our feet into the wall here, pushing, pushing, pushing. So that lengthen my quads out of touch, lengthen me out here, lots more glute engagement to get the hips through. We're there. And then if you really want to get working, maybe some back bend bridge stuff, you can just place your hands here. And let's focus on that low belly breath. Relax down. I like to do those looking at the amount of breaths I'm doing. To really get a good quality change in your physiology, we look to aim for six breaths. It's a good, good buffer range. If you're breathing long and slow, six breaths should take you between a minute and a half to two minutes if you're really long and slow. Worst case bottom, a minute, because six breaths in a minute puts us at a uh, 10 second breath, five second inhale, five second exhale, which is really good. If we can link that out to two minutes, it's really communicating to our physiology that we're relaxed. So when you're doing an exercise like this bridge though, and say it's burning and it's uncomfortable, you're getting to like a real quick, choppy, anxious breath. Yeah, you might be doing the exercise correctly in terms of maybe engaging the right areas of your body, but your body's not communicating and uh, being receptive to that as it being something that, oh, I'm relaxed and I'm absorbing this. It's saying, oh no, this is kind of a fight or flight thing for me to do this and hold this. So it's actually not gonna download in your body's motor programming as well. So does that kind of make sense? So if we're more relaxed while we're doing something, it's going to sink into our nervous system much more. But if we're in a fight or flight, it's going to be gone. It's not going to stay. It's only going to be there for when we did it. You know, it might engage our glutes where they're active for the next little bit. But in terms of being able to program our glutes to fire, not going to happen. But guys, found that helpful? Check out below. Give me some likes. Subscribe. Support the channel. I'm working hard to bring you some good quality stuff to help you more vital. Move more freely. More vi Move just... Basically what I'm trying to say is I want you to move better, feel better because it sucks and your body feels like shit. 
So that's what I'm looking to try to do, trying to help you with that. Hope you all have a good day. Peace.